Is there anything you do to, to help help take your mind off of uh, some of the things you've seen in nursing and just the burnout? When I first started nursing, if I had a death or something, I used to cry for at least an hour before I can even get up to clean the body up and get them prepared for their loved ones to come. I have matured enough in my um, career to know that death is a part of life. Mm -hmm. It's one thing you're gonna for sure do is die. Sometimes when people are suffering, it's probably a better, better option. option. I know a lot of well, people- Well, I wouldn't call like, it an option because it ain't like they got- Right. Well, like they can pick, like, all right, I want to live, but then I want to die, you know? Yeah, but you pick. know what I mean. It's, yeah. it's a better- It's better for them rather than suffer. Yeah, because a lot of people suffer. They have pain. They can't do for themselves. The quality of life has went from 100 to zero, and sometimes death is the better option. So the nurses have to clean the dress the bodies when when somebody passes away? Yeah, we have to clean the body because of course the family is gonna wanna come and see them. And it's all about uh, dignity for the dead. You treat the dead just like you would treat the living, respect and dignity. Who wants to see their loved one with, you know, stuff coming out their mouth and they done lost their bowels and it's, it could be a horrific scene. So of course I'm gonna make you look as good as possible before your loved ones come. How was it for, like the first time uh, someone ever passed away and you had to clean them up? Like how did I didn't. You I didn't? paid somebody else to do it. And I stood at the door and gave them all the supplies that they needed because I was afraid. Uh -huh. uh, I think that was my first, first deceased and it was in 2019. I was afraid, but I slowly got into the groove and now I'm the one that jump up like, I got it, I'll clean them. So I, I don't know. So, it's I've just matured in my career. Ain't no way I could touch uh, a, a, a dead body, but uh, but they're harmless. Yeah, but don't they like like even though they're gone, don't they muscles or something still be sometimes, retracting or something? Sometimes. They, so they will make sounds, grunts. They'll fart. They'll. <laughs> You know. See, that would freak me out if I'm standing up there and I'm trying to clean them up and they go, Ugh, you know, I'm, whoa. So you have to remember as a healthcare professional, even though the patient is pronounced dead, their body is still shutting down. It could take up to two hours for their body to completely shut down. Like they don't make no movement movements, like they arm would jump up and swing or something like. I haven't witnessed it. I've heard that I haven't witnessed anything to that. Say you have a deceased patient, right? And you cleaning them up. And they muscles tense up or whatever and they smack the shit out of you while you wiping them up. What do you do? Do you smack them back? No. <laughs> I mean, they dead, so. No, I'm gonna smack them back. I would be like, you got one. You, you snowboarding and all. Well, how you get your leg back? I mean. Hey, they did. That was God at this point. That's what, how I feel. God smacked the shit out of me. So you have, like, do you do nurses have to do that by themselves or do it be other people in the um, It be other people like the CNAs or the PCA or mm -hmm. hey, your, your nurse friend down the hall, they'll come and help, you know. Right, so you but do most of the time... Like when I was like the house soup, I would do it by myself to let everyone else continue doing their job. It doesn't bother me. Matter of fact, I start mortuary school next month. Dig that! Congratulations, congratulations, mortuary yeah. school. So you taking this 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 thing all the way? Yeah, I'm just kind of tired of dealing with the living because they talk back and stuff. You dead? <laughs> they you ain't got to argue with them. If I tell you it's not time for a pain pill, it's not time for a pain pill. We ain't got to go around and around and around about your pain pill. Mm -hmm. I don't have to deal with it with the dead. I'm gonna put on my young dog and I'm gonna get to work. It is what it is. Young dog. Yeah. That's right. That's right. South Memphis fine. Telling us sons on life support and just imagine how my girl feel on the plane.